Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you don't miss out any update from us. So today we are diving into a crucial topic if you want to go for building or maintaining your educational app. The topic is educational app maintenance and revenue models. So whether you are a businessman who wants to think about educational app market or owner of an educational app who wants thinking about maintenance and the overall revenue generation or a student who is just curious that how these educational app earn and what is the whole maintenance process. So this video is for all of you. So today we are going to discuss different revenue models of an education application and the maintenance cost you will have to pay here. So let's get started. First let's start with why does maintaining your educational app is so important. Think as if you have made an amazing app but after the launch you just left it on autopilot. That's a big no no because continuous maintenance helps your apps to grow and increases their user experience and customer satisfaction. It's very important think of it like your car you are maintaining the shape of the car. You know you are maintaining the whole car so here it needs fixes regular fixes. So when you build an app you need to consider several maintenance costs. Let's break it down. First up we have play console. So play console is very very important if you want to publish your app on Google Play Store. So in Google Play Store your app is accessible to a huge audience worldwide. So play console helps you do that. The cost of play console currently it's 2100. So you can go for that which is very important if you want to publish your application on Google Play Store. Next up we have marketing and promotion. When your app is ready marketing and promotion is very important you have to invest in these. There are different types and you can go for different types for example social media advertising, influencer partnership, creative content writing or content marketing. So you can go for different things here but all these things need a significant amount of pay or need a significant amount of charges you will go to pay. So here it's very very important don't think as if so we, we need to pay then we will not go for marketing or promotion our application can run without that but it's not possible because marketing and promotion are very important to attract the new audience as well as to retain the previous audience. So this is very important and you should go for it. Next we have server cost. So server is very important. You can't build an app without a server. Server is very important to store your data and people like your audience basically connect on the server to use your application. So server is very very important. So here you will have to pay monthly or yearly depending on your budget for different servers you are using but here you have an option you can go for AWS that is Amazon Web Service or others like Google Cloud Storage. Here what happens they charge you for the total amount of server you have used. For example you have used server for this whole month. You have used small amount of server like there are no much audience or there is no traffic on your application then your overall cost of month will be low. But if there is a huge traffic then the server cost will be more. So it is more affordable if you are, you are just starting your application. Next we have paid services. So if your application have any kind of paid service like messaging or APIs for data storage then you need to pay monthly for paid services. So paid services are also very important. It is very crucial because it totally affects your user experience and customer satisfaction. If you involve various paid services, you will have to pay for them also but your user experience and satisfaction gets enhanced here. Next up we have adding new features. So there is no app who doesn't need update. Updating your app is very very crucial for being competitive and to attract more audience. So new features means more cost means you have to pay more. Pay more for coding, pay more for designing, pay more for testing. So this is the huge process where you will have to pay for new features. But it is very important because updating an app is very important as it's important for your customer service, customer requests and different different things. 
so this was all about the maintenance cost let's go for the revenue models we are going to focus there are different kind of revenue models we are going to focus on five main premium models subscription based models in app purchases advertising and licensing so let's start with premium models so in premium model what happens you provide content for a, basically a wide range of content for free like your uh, users can come on your application they just need to download your application and can come on your application and use your whole content or use your whole thing which you are going to provide but if they want a premium version or if they want more good content then they will have to buy your subscription for example duolingo so here what they do teachers or students can go there and learn everything they want for free but if they want a premium or more good content then they have to buy their subscription model next up we have subscription based model so here what happens you have to pay or you have to subscribe to the channel and basically what we are talking about application so here we are have to subscribe to the application you get subscription charges for monthly or yearly or for two years depends on your budget and your needs so here you get subscription model you charge a particular amount or a fair amount for all the content you are going to give to your viewers or to your audience for example coursera so here the subscription based models takes a amount of money for monthly or for yearly and provides exclusive content to their audience for the money they have given next is in app purchases so in app purchases can be from different different things like if this is your simple education app template based education app so for detailed more detail like you have a simple education app but you are providing all content for free some simple notes and simple question asks but if you want a detailed one if you want a whole section of in app purchases where you have providing detailed notes or question asks then they the students will go and buy that particular notes so this is called in app purchases we can take example of khan academy so students can go and buy anything or and can purchase anything any notes or any question asks they want next up we have advertising so advertising is very simple when your application is running you can provide different different advertisements through your application you can run different advertisements of various platforms of various brands but you need to keep in mind here the amount of advertisements you are keeping or it should not hamper the customer experience or the user experience because that can not retain your overall customer satisfaction or your overall customer base will go down because of more advertisements so you should think about the advertisements before posting it at last we have licensing so here what happens we provide license to different schools or institutions so what happens they can access your application and they can use your various features which is very useful for the students as well as teachers so example you can take of google classroom and blackboard so here teachers and students can use their application or the features but the institutes have to pay a particular amount to that particular company to that particular application so here you are generating revenue from different different institutes so this was all about revenue models so today we have discussed everything about different types of maintenance cost and revenue models but why is this so important so it's very important to gain your customer base or to retain your customer base because updating your application or generating revenue through your application is very very important so that's it for the day and if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button click the bell icon so you don't miss out any update from us and if you have any doubt or topic you want us to cover next you can comment below thank you and have a nice day ahead